This is Real News Media TV, coverage you can trust. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates. JPS applies for rate hike. The Jamaica Public Service Company has applied to the Office of Utilities Regulator for a rate increase. The company has also applied for an extraordinary rate review. The JPS has indicated that without the extraordinary rate adjustment, customers would see a 1.6% average increase in their bills. But if the two requests are approved, there would be an average 1.7% hike in bills, according to the OUR. The regulator says it will review the applications and make a decision by August. JPS's 2022 annual tariff adjustment application is in keeping with provisions of the 2016 electricity license, the OUR said in its statement yesterday evening. The terms of the license allow the realignment of the company's revenue targets each year against inflation and exchange rate movements, as well as its performance in the previous year. The OUR says the license also provides for an extraordinary rate review in the event of an exceptional circumstance that is considered to have a significant impact on the electricity sector. JPS has proposed a revenue target of $51.3 billion for 2022 based on factors such as system losses performance, foreign exchange surcharge, and a Q-factor adjustment, which are normally taken into account in the annual review, the regulator said. The Q-factor looks at the quality of service. Regarding the extraordinary rate review submission, JPS is requesting approximately $159.7 million in revenue to address the stability of the grid in the corporate area, given the retirement of the Hunter Bay B6 68.5 MW plant. The OUR says that the JPS has assumed that the fuel and the charges from independent power providers would remain unchanged. JPS's request comes its copay program with the government takes effect this month. Under a deal with the JPS, the government will pay 20% of the residential bills for JPS customers who consume 200 kilowatt per hour or less of electricity per month over the four-month period of April to July. More than 450,000 low- and middle-income households are expected to benefit. And the last week, the Jamaica Manufacturers and Exporters Association slammed the Bank of Jamaica over an increase in the policy interest rate. The group warned of hikes in prices and economic recession. But the BOJ has insisted that its actions are aimed at limiting the pass-through of higher international commodity prices and the facilitator return of inflation now at to the target range in the shortest possible time period. Inflation was 11.8% as at April 2022. The BOJ's target range is 4 to 6%. Dan and classmates gutted at droning death of 17-year-old. She was poised to ace all nine Caribbean Secondary Education Certificate exams and would have sat the first of them today. But Chevane Bestley drowned the last Friday, days ahead of her 18th birthday. The 17-year-old Green Island High School student was a mathematical pro whose favorite subject was accounts. In the last month, several persons have died through drowning, including Wilmer's Boys School student David Minot last weekend. One of Bestley's 12 friends who was with her when she died broke down during his examinations Monday morning and had to be counseled. The others, her father, Shivan Bestley, said have had to be coaxed to sit their exams in honor of his daughter. Adorned with her school tie and prefect badge, Bestley's voice was filled with pain as he stood outside the JN Bank in Lucy Hanover on Tuesday morning. But even then, there was pride in the legacy left by Chevenet. I am going to miss her asking, Daddy, you come? You want me to prepare something for you to eat? Said Besley, a security guard at the Noel Holmes Hospital in Lucy. He wishes his daughter had gone to the beach instead of the river, but as a man of faith, he accepts that the hands of time can't be turned back. Chevenet went swimming with her schoolmates in the Kingsville area of Hanover last Friday, but got into difficulties. Her friends tried unsuccessfully to rescue her. The father said he gave her permission, like he does every weekend, to spend time with her friends. He is hurt by spiraling social media comments, suggesting that his daughter was reckless. 
They studied together. They are always together, Besley said, noting that his daughter studied hard and wanted to face exams for 15 subjects instead of nine. Her death, he said, was a great loss to the family, including his wife and his son. She touched their lives wherever she went, he said. Still shocked by the death of one of her best students, Green Island principal Maxine Evans described Chevenet as a youth leader who was focused. The school plans to offer counseling to the students, particularly those who were involved. However, Evans said that was difficult now because the students were in the middle of examinations. In the meantime, teachers and the school board chairman have visited the Besley's home to offer moral support. According to Evans, the students had just done the City and Guild's English test and apparently felt they needed to breeze out after grinding hours of study. Artlet Archer Campbell, the founder of Sealfish Swim Academy, has expressed a concern about the number of Jamaicans who have died owing to their inability to swim. She gave the news a few tips to help persons who may get into difficulties. Owing to the fact that Jamaica is an island with several rivers, I think there is certain basic life-saving information that should be passed on to the children at the kindergarten and elementary level through Learn to Swim and the Drone Prevention programs as part of the school curriculum island-wide, said Archer Campbell. Bachelor's barrier could cause a crisis at ECI's warns Brown Burke. Opposition spokesperson on education Angela Brown Burke is calling on the government to introduce more tangible solutions to helping teachers meet qualification requirements stipulated in the Jamaica Teaching Council Bill. Her recommendation comes on the heels of a recent Joint Select Committee meeting where Jamaica Teachers Association President Winston Smith noted the dangers to the teaching profession if most of the current teachers without a bachelor's degree, as required, will not be registered as teachers. The bill defines a teacher as a person who, having been admitted to an educational teaching program, duly recognized in the country in which the person is qualified, has successfully completed a bachelor's degree in education or its equivalent, or alternatively, a first degree with a postgraduate diploma in education and thereby satisfies the qualifications to be registered as a teacher under this Act. We don't have a problem with that. We actually agree with that qualification because we are lifting standards. Where the problem lies is that we need a transition that understands our cultural reality, Brownberg stated. Though the bill gives teachers who fall below the requirement scale a year to begin the process of seeking advanced studies, Brownberg indicated that more consideration ought to be made for those seeking qualifications and those who have acquired it. Many of our teachers and caregivers in the early childhood sector who go and borrow and find ways of improving their professional standards end up having to leave because government only paying one teacher per class. Therefore, if you are not the one and you are qualified, it means the money you get can't do more than so. It can barely put food on your table, she said. Speaking at the People's National Party Divisional Conference in Mandeville on Sunday, Brownberg said support in the form of a program with a subsidy needs to be introduced. If they are not allowed to teach, we are going to have a big gap anyway because it means they won't be there. Who will be there? What will that mean for our children who are in school, she questioned. During the Joint Select Committee review held on May 19, Minister of Education Favel Williams indicated that Smith's analysis of the stipulations of the bill could give the wrong impression in the media. However, Brownberg said the minister's focus should be the well-being of those involved and not how it will be publicized. What for them is the most important thing is how it is going to be seen. It's not the fact that we want a healthy, honest conversation that will lead to improving the bill and making sure that our teachers are not at risk. Mothers can leave hospital with a digital copy of baby's birth certificate as of next year. Floyd Green, Minister Without Portfolio in the office of the Prime Minister, has announced that mothers will be able to leave hospital next year with a digital copy of their baby's birth certificates. Mr. Green, speaking in the House of Representatives on Tuesday, said since providing the first birth certificate for free and the introduction of the bedside registration program, the authorities have been able to capture 99% of births in Jamaica. But he said a new bedside registration app will be introduced. The minister added, allowing registration officers from the Registrar General's Department 
to populate the birth certificate in real time, meaning that once the information is added by the mother's bedside, it is automatically uploaded to the RGD's system. Mr. Green, who was making his contribution to the annual sectoral debate, added that clients will now be able to apply online for more of the services offered by the Registrar General's department. Upon the launch of the app, our registration officers will be able to populate the birth certificate in real time. What, what it means, Madam Speaker, is that once the information is inputted by the mother's bedside, it is automatically uploaded on the RGD systems. So where we're heading to is that by next year, Madam Speaker, mothers will be able to leave hospitals or birth centers with verifiable digital electronic copies of their children's birth certificates. Today, I am happy to announce that all people will be able to obtain an electronic period order online. Our people will be able to apply for their adoption certificates online. And, Madam Speaker, importantly, you will now be able to book your wedding at the RGD online. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates.